Situated near the venerated shrine of Saint Nizamuddin Aulia in Delhi, the Chausat Khamba stands as a unique site, preserving the remnants of Mughal architecture. The enclosure is entered through a lofty arched gateway which opens to a courtyard. To the left of this courtyard is the Urs Mahal, its name referring to the death anniversary of Sufi saints, which is reserved for special programs. Directly across the structure is the marble mausoleum, also known as the Chauset Khamba. The name literally translates to 64 pillars. This magnificent tomb was constructed between 1623 and 1624 CE. The structure was commissioned by Mirza Aziz Kuka, son of the renowned Atga Khan and a prominent figure in the Mughal Emperor Jahangir's court. He also served as the Subedar of Gujarat. This mausoleum was initially built as a hall and later turned to be his final resting place. The square structure is made of pure white marble. Adorned with a large facade and a group of 64 columns, the structure supports 25 bays, each crowned with a dome. These domes are not visible from the outer view of the monument. Each of the walls showcase five arches, enhanced by sturdy square pilasters. Delicate screens of marble lattice feature between these pilasters. Inscriptions reveal that the mortal remains of Mirza Aziz Koka, also known as Koka Altash, are present here. Additionally, this monument shelters several other unnamed graves, both in the inner and outer regions of the mausoleum. Adjacent to this structure, the tomb of the famous poet Mirza Ghalib stands as a poignant reminder of the interwoven threads of history. The Chauset Khamba is situated within the vibrant embrace of the 14th century market area of Nizamuddin Basti. However, the site lies little explored in the densely populated region of Delhi. Instances of littering and neglect are evident in the site and there is significant structural damage. The Archaeological Survey of India along with Nizamuddin Urban Renewal Initiative have worked on the restoration and the upkeep of this monument.